So I'd like to introduce you now to our beech tree, our beautiful mother beech tree. You can see her um, in the background. She's a very, very large tree, one of the largest trees in our woodland. Um, so she's really the mother of the woods. Beech trees have lived in Ireland for quite some time. While they're not native to Ireland, they have been introduced many hundreds of years ago, so they've been living here for many, many hundreds of years. And uh, beech trees are very special. And this tree, this mother tree, actually went into leaf just a few days ago. Until a few days ago, she, her leaf buds were completely closed. And just a few days ago, I went for a walk and I saw this. So I'm sharing this with you. And beech trees, you can tell them very easily, even without the leaves, by their bark, because they have very smooth gray, um, grayish bark, very smooth. Um, and uh, they have pointy leaf buds. They're quite long, so they're pointy and long. And when the leaves come out, you can see they're absolutely gorgeous, delicate green color. They are kind of a little bit um, wrinkled when they come out, and they have very delicate, soft, white, feathery kind of um, and nearly fur um, on the edges of the leaves. By autumn, beech trees, some beech trees, the mature beech trees, would have produced beech nuts. I think last year was a mast year for beech. There were, there were a lot of beech nuts. So these are actually empty now. Um, they are the, the, um, the, the shell of the beech nut. And the nuts themselves look like this. So there's usually two inside of each beech nut shell when the nut falls into the ground and springtime comes and the tree germinates and the little tree arrives it looks nothing like the big massive majestic tree that you see here it start, starts out tiny and looks very different so uh, this is what it looks like I'm going to try and show you now and uh, there's a lot of stories connected with the beech trees they are uh, traditionally very connected with knowledge and communication and it is said that the old Ohm alphabet was first written on beech bark so um, and even the word beech in other languages oftentimes means the word letter or book as a matter of fact in Russian the word for beech is book <laughs> and the word for letter is bukva so very traditionally um, seen as um, the tree of knowledge, keeping and, and um, passing on knowledge and communication. So we're going to connect the music of the plants machine, which is a little musical instrument for the trees and the plants. We're going to connect it um, very gently to the beech tree and hopefully she will sing for us. So I connect the one, one cord to the ground, not far from her roots. And the other cord is connected to one of her leaves. And we'll wait and see what happens. She goes. She's singing.
So I hope you enjoyed this little video from our nature sanctuary and I hope that someday you might be able to come and visit us here. <laughs>